Welcome to Good Mythical Mars. Here we go. Welcome to Good Mythical Mars. Oh gosh. Mar. <laughs> okay. Uh, said so a day in Good Mythical Mars. What are we doing? I'm uh, gonna tell you revenge petty revenge stories. stories. Oh, and we have to predict how they end. Yeah. But okay. first, we have to boogie down now without busting a bubble. The music that stop? music didn't finish. Is that the joke? <laughs> Not funny. Oh, no, 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 don't bust a bubble. No. Surprising nothing popped when I sat down. It's all about even distribution. So Remember predict that, the uh, revenge story, huh? The last time you were in a bubble wrap? Free credit report yeah. dot com. Not a sponsor. They were. <laughs> yeah. That was a that was a fun video shoot. It was. That we popped all series. types of bubbles and we made bubble suits, but they weren't this. <sighs> they were nice. super thick. Well, they were thick. They were like yeah. multiple layers, so we could just keep popping it. We popping. squeezed each other. Okay, revenge stories. Doesn't pop. Uh, this first one comes from user Runner One. Runner Boy. Uh, yeah, on Reddit. My coworker sometimes throws out her lunch in the garbage can at my desk instead of her own. Because she claims she can't stand the smell of old ketchup that's been sitting out for a couple hours. I've asked her several times to stop, but she will then just wait until I get up to go to the bathroom and do it and hide my garbage can under my desk so she thinks I won't see it. How did this person get their revenge? Huh. This is a pretty crappy thing to do, first I, of all. I think this is so easy is to just throw flirting? away. You know? It's just like. It's ineffective flirting. What, what is the. Well, what's the other explanation for why she's so hard headed about it? Women. <laughs> um, I, I think it's. I, okay, I mean, I'm trying to put my. I'm trying to imagine the know situation in which this would make sense. Like, maybe they're in one of those places that, like, They've laid everyone off, and there's just two people working in the end of a very large, like, room in two little cubicles, and so there's no other crash can. Like, that's the only explanation that would make this justified. Why wouldn't you go no, to the communal trash can? No, it's implied that she can? has her own, oh. Right, why wouldn't you go, why wouldn't you just, yeah. It's, it's either like, oh, her get trash up. can or his trash can, is what you're saying. Yeah, I think what he did was, he, Squirted a bunch of ketchup underneath her desk, so that it just got old and the stayed there. Smell. That it's like the atomic dump where you take a dump in the yeah. tank of someone's toilet. Yeah, and then they, uh, they call that an upper decker. Yeah, and they boy, they smell it for days. They don't know what's wrong. They call every it time you flush, it it puts more poop in the in the bowl. Yeah, it fills it up with poop water. Every it's a time. beautiful thing. Don't recommend it, but we we did it. It's actually hard to do. It was like a, co a college prank thing. It's like when you when you're up there trying to do it. It's just like you know, it's not made to be sat upon. If you're that elevated, it's tough to let yourself relax. Yeah, and plus you're like the people that you're pranking are just outside the door. Right. Presumably, they might be like, you know. Yeah. It's a high risk situation. We don't recommend it. What do you think that he did? Uh, I think that. These she, won't pop. She was eating her, she was about to eat her lunch. He had finished his lunch and he took her full lunch and threw it in the trash can and then put his trash lunch and put it where her lunch was. Ooh, gotcha. All right, who's, who's closer? Every time she does it, I wait until she goes to the bathroom, take out the little plastic container that she had ketchup in, and put it way in the back of her bottom desk drawer. There are six in there now. The oldest is over a month old. So far, she hasn't noticed the smell. Gonna keep doing it and see how long it takes her to notice. Oh, uh, got him. Flirting. They're, they're, this is office flirting. It's also like they're very conscious of, of when they're in the bathroom. 
you know, it's like she, yeah, he goes to the bathroom. She throws out her lunch. She goes right. to the bathroom. It's like. Well, that could be the best, you know, depending on your job, that could be the best part of the day, Stevie. Yeah. When I worked as an engineer, going to the bathroom was like the best part of the day. Oh, yeah. You know? I'd go to a whole other floor today. It was like, all right, I'm, really, I'm going to go the long way. I'm going to stop by and talk to Bill. Uh, yeah. Here I go. Hey, uh, Bill, I'm going to do number two. <laughs> I'll let you know what happens on the way back through. You want to walk around and let everybody see your shoes so that when you're taking a dump in the bathroom, they can know that it's you. <laughs> Those are the days, man. Those were the days. Plus, as engineers back then, you had really cool shoes. Oh, yeah, loafers. Yes, yeah. because you had that clip-on uh, phone onto your belt too. I had a clip on phone. I also had the clip on ID that like zink. I will zink. have you know, Stevie, zink. at my company, we wore jeans on Friday. Oh. But we still tucked our collared shirts into them. You wore, okay. you dressed the same way. Oh yeah. You, you had to tuck your shirt in. Like no one tried to find out what would happen if they didn't tuck their shirt in. Like but it, also, yeah. like, was it? It wasn't like a cool, respect. like, you weren't like, oh, I wish I could wear this ill fitting polo not tucked in to my jeans because that's cool. It was yeah. fashion, was like not even remotely part of the calculation. It was just like, this collared shirt is this color. These pants are khaki. These shoes are brown. And everyone dressed exactly the same. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. this next story comes from Redditor Chief Pompadour. Oh. At my previous job, we had separate refrigerators for the different shifts. Wow, all this drama really centers around, you know, work Food. environment. Food at Food. work, yeah. the things that matter. Uh, we had separate refrigerators for different shifts. Our food was constantly being stolen or messed with. One day, my buddy and I decided to dot, dot, dot. Switch the fridges. First thing I thought was like, I mean, I would put totally put a camera on the fridge to catch who was doing this stuff. Like, I want to know who's doing it so we can they can be targeted. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's the old it's the old sw uh, uh, switcheroo, the old big big frit, uh, big fridge switcheroo. So they switched the total fridges. They took everything from one fridge and put it exactly the same in the other fridge. So then they were raiding their own fridge. I'm not, contents. I haven't really thought this through, but that's the first thing that came to mind. I think that's it, man. Yeah. No, you're green. They switched everything in the fridges, so when they raided the other fridge, they were only raiding themselves. Here's my second answer. Okay. They glued the fridge shut, but they installed a little tiny fridge door inside the door that was like the size of the, like a refrigerator for a mouse. So like a peephole? So you could open it and look in and grab things one at a time, but it was just small enough so that anything you grabbed, you couldn't get out. So yes, if you yes. grabbed it, you got stuck. You got me, Rhett, that's gotta be that's it. That's it. My yeah. secondary answer has become my primary answer. Well, both really great guesses, um, but they decided to make a nice cherry cheesecake out of cooking lard. We finished it off with graham cracker crust and cut a couple slices out of it since we knew the thief wouldn't be brazen enough to take the first bite. We never found out who the thief was, but we never had to worry about anyone messing with Dang, our Dang, they set a fat again. trap. That is smart. Dang, and to, and, to get, and to cut a couple of slices out. And you know when somebody starts eating some stolen cheesecake, it takes them a few bites to realize that they're into, yeah, into something yeah. bad. Because they want to love it because they stole it. Maybe it's me. I want to justify it. Maybe so, it tastes hmm. bad because it's naughty. I don't know. Okay, hopefully this next one is not about office food. Not that I don't love hearing about it. Uh, uh, the little doors. It's paraphrased from some username, 47. I live in a college dorm on an all-female floor. One day, I went down the hall to refill my water bottle in a tank top without a bra on. Okay, I'm liking this better. better. <laughs> I'm tracking. I'm tracking. There had been a small group of people hanging out in the halls, and I didn't think much of it until one of the girls knocked on my door and asked me not to walk around without a bra because her boyfriend was there and saw me. I don't like this. 
I agreed and apologized, but later overheard her telling the story as if I'd gone out of my way to seduce her boyfriend. It escalated even further when an RA told us someone had used the anonymous complaint form to complain about how people had been dressing indecently and reminded us all to cover up. Don't get me started with... What kind of bullsh is this? This is... This is just, you know, you've got kids these days. They think they can, they think they can, <laughs> they think they can just com- lodge a complaint and then just just totally turn against somebody. Like They it's, love to it, complain about it. It's that. a problem. This generation. It's a problem. This generation. It's like, man. oh, I'm, I'm going to totally write this person off and now I'm going to be making up stuff about them. And I'm going to confront them. They're going to give a nice apology, and yet I'm still going to spread rumors and submit anonymous complaints. It's like rather than just talking like, to somebody. First of yeah, all, get, get just just mind your own business. But first of all, don't have a problem with something you shouldn't have a problem with. And then if you do have to have a problem with something, talk to them about it. Don't don't target people. It's so it's so. I mean, it's so, it, it makes me angrier than, huh. than, than satisfying videos cut short. Yeah, if, if, if we didn't have these bubble suits on right now, we'd come right through that screen and take care I of it. I need some sweet revenge, Stevie. This one better be good. I think this is probably uh, next time she knew that the boyfriend was coming over. Uh, she went to the girl's dorm room. She glued the door shut. She put a little door inside her dorm room door, and then she took one booby and stuck it in the door. A, a, <laughs> they call it a teat hole. Yeah, right. That's what I think she did. Most of my answers have to do with putting little doors in things. I realize that. Come up with something better than that. Uh, I think it has to do with she took all of the bras. Her, she stole her bras. She took all her bras. She stole the girl's bras ears. And she strung them together. Uh-huh. And put them through that little door. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what she did. I think I like this. And she started pulling on them. It's like, oh, my bra is coming through the little door. And then it's like, oh, it's it's two bras. It's three bras. Yep. It's all my bras. Every one of them. How'd they get out there? I wish my boyfriend was here to help me pull on my bras. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid of what my boyfriend's gonna do if he sees another girl with He's gonna with her stu- tank top it's gonna cause on. him to stumble. Uh, we, okay. We're pretty close to it. I'm yeah. afraid that my boyfriend is gonna be influenced and can't control himself. I love boys who I have to do everything for them and make sure that they don't do anything inappropriate. Wow, this feels this feels fresh, man. I knew that the girl's boyfriend didn't go to school with us, and because of the pandemic, we weren't allowed to have non-student or non-family guests at the dorm. So I used the same anonymous complaint form to complain about people bringing their off-campus boyfriends to our dorm. Our RA emailed to say that due to the complaint, they'd be enforcing the no off-campus visitor rules and checking IDs of all guests. So she no longer needs to worry about her boyfriend seeing anything. Okay. So let the tatas waggle. (laughs) I appreciate this, but I also feel like this revenge involved Everyone suffering a little bit. You right? just wanted a little door. That's yeah, yeah. why you're. If everyone upset. had a little door, <laughs> he just wanted a little door. Everybody gets something. <laughs> he just wanted a little door. I'm gonna put it in the complaint box. I believe everyone should have a little door. <clears throat> it's not targeted at anyone. Everyone benefits. Next week, you're putting another complaint in the box. Where, where are those little doors? Yes, uh, following up on my previous request for little doors. Still have not seen the construction process begin. It's been three weeks. I've seen no <laughs> movement on the little door front. <laughs> the little door front. That's what the movement's called. Because yeah. I, I get people to sign a petition. Would you like to join the little door front? We all wear the same t-shirts. Just says, 
Little doors inside of a heart. You know what I'm saying? Little, little we like yeah, we yeah. love little doors. Love little doors. Want to remind you, my dad's podcast is in video form. First episode's out today. Watch my Woo! dad talk. He's man. Watch my dad read your email. He's got a great voice, but you you add the face in there. And Watch it's even my better. dad try to decipher what your jokes mean. Yeah, it's great. YouTube.com slash dispatch is from Myrtle Beach. S subscribe, click the bell every Thursday. Hmm. Okay, this is from uh, Jimmy, Ricky, Bobby, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, traffic was totally backed up due to a fender bender in a construction zone. This woman decided to try and blast by all of us by getting into the left turn only lane to force her way up front. Lots left, of honking. left what? Left turn only. Left, yeah. Okay. Lots of honking and middle fingers didn't stop her, so I hatched my evil plan. What did Jimmy, Ricky, Bobby, Billy do? Well, if she already passed him, right? That's a safe assumption. So then, I guess he had to whip it over and get behind her. This is tough, man. Uh, well, what you could do, so let's 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 say that she pulls over, goes up there, but then she's not able to get back in, and he gets up there where he's even with her. You got first of all, you got to be really careful. Like, yeah, you got to be in really LA. Careful. Like, people do dumb stuff a lot just because yeah. there's so many people and it's crazy traffic. I almost always. Just have no, I'm no response. Do not I do anything. I, I hardly if somebody's ever acting like an ass on because you just don't on the, know on the, you on the know roads. About these folks do not do anything, please. So that being said, we can laugh at what this guy did, but like, don't do anything. Just take it on the chin. Move on. Just drive on. Drive on. I like to talk to myself in those moments. So. Talk to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like it's good to, say, to get it's you're an idiot. It's good you're to get idiot. it out. It's good that's to get what it I out. do. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, that's don't all. don't that's gesture. All. Don't honk. Yeah. Don't definitely don't do what this guy did. Yeah. I I think I whatever it is. I've thought about it a little bit. I think I know what he did. He got out there next to her. He cut her off a little bit. He got out and put a little door on her door real fast. <laughs> Right. Did just, he open the door? It just, he put a little door on her passenger door. He stuck his hand through and gave her the finger. Pulled it back, got in his truck and went, because he was a he's a door guy. He was actually on his way to that all girls college. To install to, a to little do, door? To do doors in every single room. Oh. You hear what Jimmy, Ricky, Bobby, Billy did? <laughs> you hear what the little door guy did on his way to get the little doors? He put a little door on the car. He did it so fast, he didn't know what hit her, and then he did a bird through it. He did a bird through <laughs> it? He did a bird through Gross. the little door. Man. What did he do, Stevie? Oh, Link's not. Link agrees. <laughs> Link agrees. I think he agrees. <laughs> yeah. I definitely, I agree. <laughs> um, I wave at her nicely and point to her back tire. Then I motion to her to roll down her window and tell her her tire's really low and she should pull over to the gas station and put some air in it. She smiles, says thanks, and pulls into the gas station. I drive off as she's getting out to check her perfectly fine tire. The gas station exit is right where the accident was. It probably added 20 minutes to her commute to pull in there and try and get it back out. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. I, again, I don't advise it, but it was... It was passive aggressive. Under the guise of helping. And she'll never catch up with you. Unless you've got a sign that says like little door guy with a phone number and a website. Right. At that point, she's gonna, she'll know exactly where to find you. Your I'm back assuming... tire's flat. The little door on your tire's open. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get, you gotta close that rubber door. Dispatches from Myrtle Beach now has a YouTube channel and the very first video is out right now. Check it out.